Okay, the very first thing you want to do before you resize or even open uh, Fast Stone's resizer is to create a new folder that you can put your resized photos in. You don't want them in the same photo as the other ones. And it just ends up being confusing. So right click on a space. I'm putting them in my pictures. Click on new folder. I'm just going to call it for now resized photos. Okay. And then we can close that for now. Open Fast Stone. Here it is. And you want batch convert. You can change the view. How it looks. There we want thumbnails. And I'm just going to pick out a few um, photos here. And you can control click. And hmm, all those are never mind. I'm just going to click a few of these guys here. Okay. And then click on Add. And that puts them in here. Now I want to... Okay, let's go to Settings. The quality is high. Okay. Photometrics. No. No change from the originals. Color subsampling, etc., etc looks good to me now for cropping and changing the resolution we want to click on the advanced options and you'll see they have all of these tabs so resize which we've decided we don't want but crop we do and dpi is your resolution you click on the tab you get a little thing like this change dpi with a little box to click the box and that gives you your your um whatever x and y axes okay in other words your width is x and your height is y for right now i'm just going to change both of them to 300 okay then over here on crop click the crop box you want it in pixels right and in your case, you are going to, I have it cropped to a video frame size right now. You can pick a standard size. Notice how they're all, they're all in pixels and paper size. They would be in inches. I'm just going to crop mine all to 6 by 4. Switch width and height to match long sides. Yes. In case you have some of them horizontal and some of them vertical. And lossless crop for JPEG format, if possible, yes. You do not want to check in aspect ratio, okay, because you're changing, actually changing the size. Then when you're done, and I do not want a watermark here, so let's unclick that one. Thank you. The ones you're going to have done now have this green circle on them. If you need them rotated, you can. If you need them resized, you can. Other adjustments, which would be brightness, etc., like that. No, I don't like that done automatically. You can add watermark to it, which is what I did for the last video. This does a really fine job, and you can add a graphic watermark, not just your type text name, etc. Okay, when you're done, you can click OK and come over here. In the main window, oh, never mind. Use override output folder. Let's go to the folder I just made. My goodness, I almost click your name, click pictures, click resize photo, and click OK. There we go. So now I have the res going to have those put in the resized. Come down here, click convert. And this comes up, shows you how fast it goes. We're done. Okay. They're all cropped. Let's take a look-see and see what they look like here. There are my pictures. Let's scroll down to resized photos. And there they all are.
perfectly resized. I really like this program. It's clean. Let's look at these guys. It's my little Western Tanager. This is the quality. Now these were frames captured from a video, so they're not going to look. There's my two little indigo buntings that came this past spring. And there's Orioles and a couple Orioles at my hummingbird feeders out in front. And there's a big J, a Stellar's J. Okay, so you can see how this works. I'm really happy with it. it. Like I say, it's clean. It works incredibly fast. If I were you and if you were using this, you know, even with Photoshop, you know, if you can, maybe start with 20 and see if it'll do 20. I would say if you have a decent enough computer and you're using this fast stone resizer to, um, to, uh, uh, start with 20. And if it does 20 really well, you can see how fat, how quickly it did six. Just bzz, done. Okay. And then move up to 30 and see how much, how many of your photos it will do. Well, I hope you, uh, learned something. Good luck with resizing.